Hello guys I am 8 Craw today I want to show you how to create product details page using HTML Tailwind CSS and some vanilla JavaScript. Let's start first we will install Tailwind CSS via NPX. Then add the paths to all of your template files in your tailwind.config.js file. Then create src folder inside the folder create input.css file and add the at tailwind directives for each of tailwind's layers to your main css file. Run the CLI tool to scan your template files for classes and build your CSS. Add your compiled CSS file to the head. Then look if everything is working. Great everything working. Now we will start the HTML structure. First create section inside the section created div. Inside the div will be two more divs. The first div contains the product image and next and previous buttons. The second div contains product details such as product name, title, description, price, add to cart button, etc. When we done the HTML structure then. We will start the styling. The styling is easy because we using Tailwind classes. First we will give the section width and height and we will center then entire section vertically. The div inside the section give full width and flex to display the two divs horizontally and center. The first div will be relative position because the previous and next buttons will be absolute position. Buttons will be vertically center of the image. The second div gives some horizontal space between the tags.
To make the slider images work we will write 10 line of vanilla JS. First we will add ID attribute image and buttons to get them and use in the script tag. Make array of image shirts and get your buttons and image then assign to variable then declare slider variable and assign to zero. Then listen click events of the buttons. When next button clicked will occur these things. The slide variable will be increment by 1. Then this condition will be checked if the slide reach the array length which is 2 then the slide will be 0. Then image src will be images array and index of the array will be what is in slide variable. The next button is the opposite of next button. If you like the video make sure to subscribe the channel like the video leave comment it's important to us thanks for your watching.